And when, why do you think we don't talk more or uh, in, when, when we did residency, and I don't know if currently there's talk about the truce, but why we don't, we don't talk about the truce enough? I mean, it's like after, after residency now that you have the, the defender of the truce, you're do, doing the LinkedIn, all the, the agenda. Why do you think we don't talk about this more? It's a fantastic question. The conversation about earlier intervention within the window of curability to preserve bladder health has been around for 20 years. Defender Andrea Tubaro from Italy published a great paper in 2001 talking, hey, early intervention is needed to protect the bladder. It's been around for 20 years, but that was a different time. We did not have many tools on our tool belts. We had monopolar TUR and we had open simple prostatectomy with incredible morbidity and mortality. And as a result, medications came along with a perceived favorable, more favorable benefit to risk profile. And then we had industry dollars pushing pharmaceuticals, right? Think of all Flomax, all Hytrin, Cardura, et cetera, et cetera, 5 alpha reductase inhibitors, OAB medications, and the device industry and pharmaceutical industry really started putting a lot of money into that. And I think it just distracted us a little bit also because we didn't have many good other options. But at that time as well, we weren't feeling the full impact of late stage BPH. We are now feeling the full extent of men living longer with all these problems. And because of that, I think that was a big part of it. And then on top of that, operationally, it's just not that easy to get guys to do a cysto or to do pressure flow studies. It takes work, but things are changing. We live in this golden age of BPH, right? Where pressure flow studies, whether it's Urocuff or Labory, things are getting easier, right? With AI and so forth. With the operational efficiency of cystoscopy, well, now there's disposable cystoscopes. You don't have to worry about trying to get that prepped and ready and worry about sterilization. And so I think we're starting to break the habit. You know, in the past, it was just too easy to prescribe and refill. And that was compounded by the fact that men had the armor of masculinity and I'm fine syndrome. So it's just easy to refill it because they said they're fine. But what we need to get back to, once again, we are not anti-medications. We're pro-data. Put the cards on the table. We have never had a better time to get data to put in front of men and say, hey, this is who you are. This is your bladder function. This is your prostate situation. These are your options. And now we have just a plethora of surgical deobstructing technologies in all the surgical categories of least invasive surgical therapies, minimally invasive, invasive, and most invasive. This is a great time for us to really tackle this problem and stem the tide because there's a tsunami coming of late stage BPH.